What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be replacing the factory Can-Am grill with the MDOR upper and lowers. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. If you guys picked up the MDOR grill kit, um, this one has the upgraded hardware. This is the two layer one. Comes with all the hardware that you're going to need. You are going to have to drill one hole down here in the corner which is not going to be visible all the hardware comes separated so you have the hardware for the upper grill you have the hardware for the side inserts and for the center the rest of the hardware is pre-installed for you so whether you have the upgraded hardware or if you have the stainless steel hardware it's all going to come pre-installed uh, with exception where the mounting hardware goes. I'm going to show you guys how to get all these grills on there. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this guy and we're going to remove the grill. We're going to remove the factory grill. There's two, um, there's two bolts holding it down here and the top is held in with clips. So we're going to use a small wrench and go ahead and carefully loosen those bolts in there without beating up your radiator. These clips should just pop out. So now we need to loosen up this entire bottom piece right here. Some of you might have a bumper like I do. Um, some of you may not. We'll be able to lift this whole front fascia piece a little bit forward to help you fit your hand in there so you can mount the bottoms first. Loosen these screws. So after you've got, you might have to loosen these guys on yours. Mine are not really holding anything. You should be able to move this. This will give you enough room to fit your hand in there to mount up the grills. The way the hardware is set up on these, um, they actually, these, uh, these nuts here, they fit in between these little slots here. Um, and essentially, when you put it on, it should stay in place because everything lines up. So we're gonna use the hardware. I'm gonna use the hardware from the side grills. These are the ones with the longest uh, two bolts of, in the whole set. And it's got four washers, four nuts, and if it's upgraded, if it's the upgraded hardware, you'll have the anodized red washers. We're gonna insert the anodized washer. And I got my 20 millimeter washer with a nut ready to go. And I'm just gonna go right through the slot in the corner. Now what you're gonna wanna do is reach through where the grill was and install the washer and the nut. All right, so I'm gonna use a 316's drill bit. Make sure this is lined up good and you're gonna go exactly into the grill as the bolt does. Just make sure you don't drill too deep. There is nothing behind that spot. As soon as you break through, you should be good. Right on this side, this is where it comes through. So make sure you don't go through deeper so you don't hit anything here, but you just need to drill a small hole for the bolt. Here we're gonna use the shorter uh, bolt in the hardware. We have our washer. I'm gonna go right through directly straight. And we're gonna put the washer and the nut from the back. Use your socket wrench from the back. Allen from the front. Adjust the grill a little bit if you have to. All right, that is decently tight. And then check this bolt. So I'm gonna come back and tighten this one just a little bit more. don't need to go extreme tight on them as long as there's no play 
it'll stay in place. So we got this side done. We're gonna hop over to the other side and get that side done. All right, now that we got the sides done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the center. So the center comes with its own hardware. There is only two bolts for the center and it mounts up with the top. Now, of course, this installation would be a lot easier without the front bumper. Now, as you're holding, it's easier to lift up the fascia to get your hand in there for that nut. Install the other one, have your washer and nut ready. Get your socket in there. Now also make sure not to over tighten too much on one side and come back and do the other side so it lays nice and flat and doesn't get pulled into one side. So we got the bottom pieces on. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the top. All right, so you're gonna have your hardware for, you're gonna have your hardware bag for the upper grill. On these tabs right here, the two center ones are not used. So if, you're think, if you think you're not gonna be running your factory grill, you could actually even cut these off so you don't see it. But, but in my case, they really don't make a difference. I, I'm just gonna keep them there. I like to start off with the top. Get the top bolt through, grab your washer and your nut from the other side. That's gonna keep the grill in place. Same thing on this side. And for the bottom, you can actually lift up on the fascia a little bit just to be able to get your hand in there. Let's cover back on. Reinstall these screws. Fully installed. You don't have to remove the fascia completely. You don't have to remove the bumper completely. It is doable if you give it enough foreplay and take your time, you can get this installed without removing anything else, just loosening up the front fascia. If you guys are interested in picking up a set, the link is in the description. We are releasing these as they are getting done, so bear with us as we're trying to keep up with orders. We're just starting out, but this setup looks pretty sweet.